Hello my Hive Tribe, it's Queenie Urbane and welcome back to the channel. Your girl hair has been growing. I've been on this strict hair routine that's been helping my hair grow so thick. And you guys know, you guys know, and in case you don't know because you're new to my channel, your girl Queenie know how to grow some relaxed hair. One, two, three! My darling, I love you, 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 I love you. Do you like my new background? Do you like my new audio? Like my new everything? Because you can't listen with it. I am so sorry, you guys, for the absence from my channel. I've been gone for literally a month. I know, like, I was literally dying without being on my channel. But, you guys, my camera broke and I had to get it fixed. I had to take it to the Canon shop. I had to wait till I got paid. It was just too much. But, we have restored back to filming and I am so excited to be back. We are back and better than ever. And right now, I am coming to you all with a hair update. Your girl hair has been growing. As you can see, as you can see, it's nice and luscious so i'm gonna update you guys on how my hair is going this is my second hair update and with that we are going to be reviewing the growth of my hair and as well as this current state because i'm going to be honest some things not everything is perfect i've actually discovered something on this journey of studying my hair being so attentive sticking to this routine and still realizing that some things are still a little problematic with my hair but i'm going to talk to you guys about that later and we're going to just really dive into the state of my hair and what's going on with it. If you like what you're watching so far, don't forget to thumbs up this video. It's part of the Hive Tribe. So in my last update, my hair was about neck length and now my hair is a little bit, I guess, lower than neck length. Mm, I don't know. It's just getting there. It's really like at the tippy toes of it. Yeah, I'm not going to go too in on the products because the products don't really matter. It's the consistency of the use that matters the most. I do not have a ruler, so I actually cannot measure my hair. But I did put in some B-roll for you guys of me when my hair was blow-dried. So you guys can really see how it looks in its natural state. Now I know I need to trim. Please don't even get in my comments and say anything because I don't got time, okay? Don't want to hear it. Hey, do you got the trim money is the part that I need you to tell me about. You got something to say, okay? I need a trim, but my hair has been growing nice and full because actually one of my subscribers, shout out to you, and I will put the comment right here, she recommended that I should do hot oil treatments every week and that's going to really grow out my hair. She said my hair was nice and luscious. This was from my video um, of where I did the roller set and yo, y'all been showing that video. Uh, y'all been showing me love and I'm here for it and I'm here for it and I'm here for it. With that being said, she told me to start doing that, so I started doing that. I was doing hot oil treatments literally, 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 literally every week consistently, which I'm going to show y'all in the routine later. Um, and it's really been growing my hair out fuller. So um, I'm going to kind of put next to me, let me move over so I have space for when I do the editing of this. But my hair, the last video um, where I did my first update and the difference now. So my hair is a lot fuller. Um, this isn't a fresh um, relaxer, actually. This relaxer is um, really from early February, and it is the end of March going into April. I'm honestly doing filming this right now because of the fact that I'm going to weave this up, actually put on a wig. Um, I've been prolonging it because of the fact that I really want to give you guys an update. I said, no, I told these guys I'm going to start my hair journey again. My God told me I can do it again, and I need to be consistent, so let me give you guys the update. This is about eight weeks post and this is the longest where like my hair can still stay like i'm talking about these edges is from this morning this morning i went to work at 8 a.m and they're still here at 10 7 p.m as i'm filming so i feel like the hot oil treatments have been changing the game y'all for my hair and I, I really can't give it to anything else that and keeping it consistently styled because i used to think that my hair was so problematic oh, i can't do nothing with this once like the like after the first two weeks of a relaxer and that's because i really wasn't consistent in the maintenance of it been really on it i've done this before i've grown my hair many times before i've spoke about this in other videos and if you haven't seen my other videos 
what are you doing go check them out when my hair starts to fall out when it starts to get dry when it starts to go through all this stuff i can't blame it on no one else but me and my pure laziness that's all it be when my hair start to go bad me being lazy and not being attentive enough too much stuff is usually going on in my life so the back of my hair the nape is you know growing a little a little bit of a slower pace than the rest of my hair but it's still getting back in my old videos where the first time i cut my hair i went through mad stuff like literally it was a crazy time and i had to let go of my hair because it was falling out the time i went natural again it was the same thing so i went natural i was natural for like literally like um i think like a year or two and then um i grew my hair out it was lovely it was cute and then i relaxed it again and my hair grew out grew out grew out i grew it really long and then after that i went through another very stressful time in my life like extremely stressful to the point that i had a huge bald spot on the back of my neck like look i'm talking about this whole thing was gone noticing after a while i was struggling to grow the hair back and that's because i was under a lot of stress at that time hair so i had the long hair before and i had to cut it into a bob because basically i had a bald spot and i just can't you know you have long hair then you have a random part with just nothing on i started over my journey and i started doing short hairstyles and stuff like that and then i'm now just starting to grow my hair again i realized that i have stress related alopecia now this isn't medically diagnosed but Every time I've had to cut my hair, it was literally after an extremely stressful event and then my my hair literally fell out. Like it's falling out in the shower or my hair is noted, like in the bed a little bit more. And it's not because of the relaxers because like when I'm not stressed, so I've been really, mental health is so important. I've been really serious about my mental health this year in terms of life happens regardless i've literally noticed how my hair has been falling out less i've also been taking care a lot of my hair a lot more. i'm less stressed out so i can focus more on my hair and taking care of myself and loving myself as well as loving myself has allowed me to be less stressed out it's really becoming a cycle that i think is really helping the growth of my hair my hair is able to be styled and be sexy so what I've been doing is whenever I can't think of a way to style my relaxed hair because I'm like, my hair is too short. What can I do with this? Oh man, yeah, it is so crazy looking. I realized, why don't I just style my hair like the Just For Me boxes? Look at that. Like literally, that is how my hair is styled right now. Put in a Just For Me box right here, but like I've just been kind of making my own little creations of the just for me boxes because essentially that's what they used to do in the 90s right when they had to wear their own hair when that was the style they just got creative with it so i'm like what am i doing not being creative follow the box <laughs> let me show you guys if you guys are interested in hairstyle videos let me know i've been having cute hairstyles you know i do my protective styles and stuff so let me show y'all just the array of different looks i've been trying on my relaxed hair okay it grew it grew a little bit so i've been just acting up you know it's about to be summer so i've been acting up okay <laughs> there's that <laughs> into the last part of this video which is my relaxed hair routine i know that's the part y'all probably care about more i know that's the part that's really about to make the video with that, I want to show you my consistent day-to-day -day schedule that I did to really maintain my hair, make sure it's on point, as well as the products that I use. Actually, nope, the products that I do, they can do that in the next video because this video is already too long. Okay, y'all. So I pulled out my handy dandy planner and I'm gonna go to a random week because I do this every week, so it's easy to do that. Okay, so we are on February 2021 right now, and I'm gonna show you guys my routine week, and we're gonna switch over to B roll. If you're liking this content so far, don't forget to subscribe. I know you're gonna to wanna to see Queenie Urbane all the time. Period. So I'm gonna we're gonna actually start I'm gonna start the week a little weirdly, but we're gonna actually start with Sunday. So deep condition and wash day. So I can either do a deep condition, a deep condition and wash day. So what I do is a hot oil treatment and then I do a deep condition afterwards, and then that's when I style my hair. So I do my little twist up, my little whatever, my little style that I'm trying to maintain for the week, okay? But this one is gonna be the one that is the twist up style it's the protective style okay so we're going to do some type of cute braid some type of cute twist some type of cute bun something that's going to make sure that 
your hair is protected and covered for a few days okay we're gonna style the edges make sure they on point and then we're gonna move on with our day okay our hair is our priority but it's not gonna take up our time so that's what we're gonna do on Sunday then on Monday that's when we're gonna just rock the twist out okay you already did the lock method you did your LOC you did your liquid your oil your conditioner okay so you're on to Monday where you are just doing your twist out you get up and go maybe style up your edges a little bit put a little shine in it little spray make sure you on point when you get out the door you got your probably a little crown a little twist you know some type of ponytail whatever the protective style you did on Sunday that's the style for Monday boom that's the style for Tuesday again okay Tuesday is low maintenance all right we don't have to do too much maybe you style your hair every day or maybe don't maybe that's why my edges is I don't know do whatever it's doing right now because I keep styling it every day but the rest of your hair is just what we not bothering, okay? Now, what's Wednesday? Wednesday is the middle of the week, so it's time to take that protective style out, okay? It only stayed for two days. When the protective style stays longer, in my opinion, is when it starts to frizz, at least for me. I don't know for anybody else, but it will start to frizz if I keep it on longer than two days at any point without a refresher. So, I'm taking a twist that out. Now, this is where you can restyle your hair. Hair, like just redo the whole style if you think it's not greasy enough or you could do a co-wash now it really depends on how I feel throughout the week if I did a co-wash or not most times I did do a co-wash because I've been getting into swimming as a hobby okay whatever that hairstyle is it could be a new look or it could be the same look you know it's up to you okay, now Friday is when it becomes optional because Friday is depending on what you care about what you're doing because most people go out Friday and Saturday is when I would recommend Friday and Saturday or at least one of those days you rock your hair out like that's where you could do the real cute all right your hair been twisted all week essentially right so now you got a really good defined twist out that could be really worn out and you look real sexy and glamorous I could put some b-roll of me you know with my protective styles out after having it twisted for a um, weeks at a time I mean ooh, not weeks for days at a time and things of that sort but you know I feel like incorporating that one day breather room for my hair has really improved the growth actually you just choose the day whether you want to choose both or one and that will really allow you to have your full week schedule of hair okay monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday every day the hair has an assignment now you keep that up it becomes like clock and then you have a consistent hair routine where your hair is always on point and it's not even about the products it's not about that stuff you just are always on it making sure your hair is good and attended to so your hair is going to start growing oh if you really 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 want to grow your relaxed hair really want to grow it start massaging it every day and night five ten minutes just i love my hair love my scalp i take care of my hair i take care of my scalp boom your hair gonna grow and y'all gonna see my hair grow because i've done this before i did this before it's not the first time sweetheart i does this hair relaxing stuff growing this hair i does this that is the update on my relaxed hair as well as my routine if you stay to the end first of all you were such a trooper shout out to you please comment i'm gonna grow my relaxed hair 2021 my hair is growing this year comment that say i'm gonna grow my relaxed hair 2021 my hair is growing this year comment that okay let's affirm it let's make it happen thank you so much for watching you guys i love you guys so much connect with me on social media here's my social media again i also be posting on tiktoks my little advice videos i promise you guys i'm never gonna be absent for a month again it was the worst ah i missed you all thank you guys so much i was reading the comments as i was just unable to post like you guys are amazing thing and i've been seeing y'all coming over to my instagram i've been peeping y'all i've been peeping Really making your girl feel a little more important. <laughs> One, two, three.